Good afternoon, everyone. It's Brad, Yamaha Marine Center in Orange Park on Wells Road. We share a dealership with BMW Ducati, at least the building. Boats are out here across the street from Adam at Carly. Today, I have for you a trade in 2018 Sea Fox 220 Viper. I believe it's a model. Yep, 220, not 2200. It is 22 feet 4 inches overall. Eight foot six in the beam, and it weighs about 2,100 pounds. Uh, 15 degree dead rise, drafts about 13 inches. Pretty good fuel capacity. Uh, 62 gallons, eight people. Uh, max horsepower is 250. This one is equipped with a Yamaha four-stroke 150. Um, pushes the boat pretty good. I don't have a performance bulletin, but we can probably get it posted here shortly for you. Uh, everything's in good shape as to be expected i believe total engine hours are under 80 uh, is rigged with the 112 pound 36 volt iPilot, pilot altera uh, nice anchor locker point of room for anchor and road place to tie off uh, fish and seat bases installed and that's a fish box over there that one's rod storage Leave that maybe a fish box there too. Two step up, which is nice. So you don't have one giant step and still plenty of deck space. I believe this one is insulated. There's a drain right there. Quick release latches to get in there. That one's insulated there for a cooler. As you can see, didn't empty the drinks out. And that one is definitely a fish box there as well open forward to give you nice access and this one is the rod storage don't know how big a rod you can get in there we can definitely find that out for you as well if they're tubed all the way to the front it looks like you can get some nine foot rods in there potentially a little live well up front and then bucket holder in here little storage areas all over the boat and then we got some rod storage on this side of the boat I don't know how tall because there's no grommets in the t-top there uh, uh, position sensor for your eye pilot little compass head compartment got us a measuring stick onboard charger for the trolling motor batteries plenty of room for a porta potty or something some more storage there and then we'll go to the helm we got a double thick layer of sea deck or ocean deck or whatever that is. A Humminbird 9 inch helix with the uh, imaging transducer, so side imaging, down imaging, all that good stuff. Yamaha command link gauges, full suite of gauges to give you all your fuel information. Uh, push button switching, see they're all backlit, tell if they're turned on or not. Tilt hydraulic steering tilt right there and then trim tabs focus uh, standard 704 binnacle some cup holders and then flip down bolsters so you can be seated with a little foot rail in there big thick backrest pads some more rod storage more rod storage up top some kingfish holders off to the side there uh, the seating back here is pretty phenomenal a ton of seats that flip up all the way across the transom give you plenty of room and then you got some additional storage under here all your pumps and stuff are mounted pretty easy to access and these also just strap right down that way if you're trailering or running the boat you don't want those being loose to flip up on you uh, this was an insulated box as well uh, drains overboard splash well fresh water tank access to that and then with all these down, you have a nice big casting platform. Oh, raw water back there too. Like I said, Yamaha 150. I'm gonna look up a performance bulletin and post that. Uh, another insulated cooler back there. Plenty of fish storage, drink storage, uh, pop-up cleats, which is always nice to get those out of the way. And then of course the swim platform. Uh, some more sea deck on that. Give you a nice non-skid area. And it does have some integrated trim tabs as well. Go right through down to there. Imaging transducer, uh, underwater, ocean LEDs, nice lights. 
pretty deep transom area along the side of the boat which is pretty impressive to me with the flare that they built into this thing looks like it keep you pretty dry give you a nice ride I don't know if you can see how much that flare sticks out keep that water from coming in the boat because it is still a true bay boat with that low draft but it has a nice steep entry to it some big lifting strikes there and a decent reverse chime not as aggressive as I've seen on some boats so it's probably why they build that big flare in there to keep the water off of you but everything comes with the trailer electronics completely rigged if you have any uh, questions or want any more information on this boat or anything else we have on the lot feel free to give us a call 904-644-7631 ask for Brad or Barton or you can always get us online at Yamaha Marine JAX.com.